If you're trying to find an entry level job in IT or you're trying to find that next career, these are the technology skills that I would focus on in 2023 to take your career to the next level. Now for the purpose of this video, we are gonna go under the assumption that you already have the fundamentals of IT, meaning you've already gone through something like CompTIA's A+, Network+, maybe even Security+, maybe you don't even have those certifications yet, but maybe you have that fundamental knowledge that exists within those certifications. Maybe you've already been working in IT for a couple of years and you're just trying to figure out what it is that you need to do to stand out, to get to that next level, or just to get your foot in the door. What you should be learning next is virtualization. And if you haven't done this yet, it's something that you need to get on right away. And it's something extremely easy to do. You can go out on the internet and download VirtualBox or VMware, and you can virtualize just about any operating system that exists. Meaning you can go download evaluation copies of Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11 even, and Linux operating systems as well. You can virtualize these from your computer. Start to learn as much as you can about virtualization. And yes, you did hear me say Linux in there. That's another skill that I think you should be learning, which we'll talk about in a minute. Once we have that fundamental understanding of what virtualization does, how it works, then we can start learning the cloud. And you could take any vendor of your choosing. So if you wanna go out to AWS or you wanna go out to Microsoft Azure, pick a platform and we can start learning more about the cloud. And this is something that's gonna be very beneficial for you. Taking this back all the way, we have the fundamentals of IT down. We're learning about virtualization and getting hands-on with virtualization. Once we have those things put in place, going to the cloud, things will start to come together a little bit more. And the reason why we're bringing up the cloud in this video, why it's something you should be learning in 2023 if you haven't already, seems like everything is going towards the cloud. It's something that's utilized just about everywhere. There's so many different businesses and services out there that are utilizing different cloud platforms that you might not even realize at this point. So just having that fundamental understanding of learning cloud platforms is going to be so extremely beneficial for you going forward in your career. So again, pick AWS, pick Azure, it really does not matter because once you start learning the fundamentals of what the cloud is, how it works, and what it actually entails. You'll be able to take a lot of that knowledge, whether it's with AWS, you'll be able to understand a lot of what's happening within Azure just by having that fundamental understanding of what the cloud does and what these cloud GUIs look like. So we got virtualization, we have the cloud. The next thing I'm gonna tell you to learn is Linux because actually pretty much everything that we talked about to this point is gonna be run on Linux because like everything in the cloud is run on Linux, if you didn't know. Linux is one of the most utilized operating systems in the entire world and you, again, might not even realize that. There are so many different systems utilizing the Linux operating system every single day, like much more so than any Microsoft operating system that exists right now. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. Now I'm not telling you need to be an expert in Linux by any means, but all this information that we're gonna be sharing with you is all going to come together at the end of this video and make sense. What you're gonna find when you're learning more about virtualization, you're learning more about the cloud, Linux has a big hand in that. So just having a fundamental understanding of how these operating systems work I would strongly suggest that. It's not that difficult. And again, you can virtualize this from your own computer with VirtualBox or VMware, or you could just throw it out in the cloud and spin up a Linux machine out in the cloud and play around. And you don't have to worry about breaking anything. So far, these are just some of the fundamental skills that going forward in IT, these are going to help you. These are going to be the skills that help you stand out. And especially as we're looking at the next five to 10 years, having a lot of this information and the next one that we're gonna talk about most specifically, it's all going to help you. Because this last one on the list is something that you're all gonna gripe about. I gripe about it myself because I hate it. Like, I'm serious, I hate it. It's programming. It's not really programming, it's actually scripting. So you guys can like yell at me in the comments or whatever, but it's close enough, right? Because that's gonna be the argument that we get in the comments as well. Cause I'm gonna tell you, learn scripting. And then somebody's gonna be like, well, that's just like programming and I hate programming. And you're right, I hate programming too. But it's something that we should probably learn because this is one of those things that I cannot stress enough the importance of. If I could go back in time and I could change anything about anything that I've learned in the last 22 years of working in IT, it would be learning more programming, seriously. The capabilities, the power that programming and scripting more specifically has is just unmeasurable. It's absolutely mind-blowing what you're able to do with scripting because 
With scripting comes automation and, you know, AI and machine learning and all these fun things, which I'm not telling you to go learn, but a lot of that is built from like Python, which I am going to tell you to go learn because Python is amazing. But why this all comes together is because with virtualization, with cloud, with Linux, adding Python into that mix will actually kind of tie all of this together really, really well because there's so much that you can do with something like Python and PowerShell or Bash even, these are all scripting languages, to help you automate many of the things that you're doing. So you could build a script with Python, PowerShell even, that can spin up a virtual machine on your computer just from double clicking a script icon on your desktop or by setting a task schedule to say, hey, every day at 12 p.m. Eastern time, start this virtual machine. And then you could set a task to shut that down like two hours later, because maybe that virtual machine has another Python script built into it that runs something different. That's just like a quick example of automation, what you could do with Python and why all of these things tie hand in hand together. These are the technologies that I see, again, in the next five to 10 years, having that really good fundamental understanding of, it's going to be probably the most helpful for you. And I didn't include security in this because outside of like everything that we mentioned, I think security is the most important thing to learn. I just should do videos on that entirely because that is literally the most important skill that I think everybody should learn when it comes to IT. So maybe I should have put that on the list, but we didn't because I just wanted to include like how we tied all this stuff in already. I'm just having fun with this video and I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm by no means telling you that you need to learn all of these right now, but having that knowledge, it's just gonna help. There are so many great resources out there that exist that can help you learn each and every one of these things that we mentioned. I'll throw a couple links to things in the comments below, but if you wanna go out and get some real hands-on knowledge with some of the stuff that we mentioned in this video, I would strongly suggest you guys go check out IT Pro by ACI Learning. They're not sponsoring this video, but if you use the coupon code ITCQ30, it'll save you 30% off of that subscription. And it's an affiliate link also, full disclaimer and all that nonsense but they do have an amazing platform over there, which will actually help you learn about virtualization. It'll help you learn about the cloud. It'll help you learn about Linux, and it'll definitely help you learn a little bit about Python as well. It's a great platform, it's very affordable, and you can virtualize a lot of that learning experience as well. So definitely go check that out if you're looking to learn more about anything that we mentioned within this video today, and check out the other links and the resources below in the description to help you learn about some of these things as well. I hope this makes sense to you. I hope you enjoyed this video because I'm completely burnt out on doing YouTube videos and I just wanna have fun. So that's what it is. You get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. As always, take it easy.